All right, well, I guess I'm live across to everything. All right. Right, oh, if you can hear me, cool, if not, my bad.
it's okay. Doesn't this give me a link? Okay, so just give me a link. I used to have a link in here and I'd share it. Stream this shit.
awesome. The movie theater out down down the road from my house is being shot up. down here. God damn. Here we go. Let's work. Anyways. hear me, or if you can't, I guess you would know. I said that, would you? Decimator. too much distortion. really wish I had two 4K monitors here at home, or at least just one 4K.
Oop, that's not what I wanted to do. Whoopsie! My Facebook is being flooded right now. They play around with stuff. Enough worrying about this crap. Let me get back into mixing this little 30 second thing I'm doing for a Conteist. See what I'm doing with that right now. I'm pretty upset, I think. Using a limiter like that, you would not be happy. That's alright, though. I don't care. Yes, I know I have this cranked way the F up. What am I going to do here? Let's see what this says. Sounds like Really wish my soft tube stuff would activate, but Highlock is being lame. Have to wait for the support ticket to get answered. And I don't want to do that. 
it's a real bummer because I can't use a plugin I use all the time. Here comes the fun part of trying to get my Digitech to work with all of this. Disinfected it. I don't know where it ran. Oh. Luckily, that comes back down to the layer. That's real crunchy. Just a squirt crap of this. This stuff needs to come down. Let's take a utility and a tool. Man, that's quiet. But don't worry. It'll be alright.
real bum that I can't use the one plugin I love using a lot. That's annoying. I know, but. <clears throat> I don't know how this is coming through on the stream or the video, so sorry. Side. My bad. Like one of the cables came in plug. Yeah, I'm using Bitwig, just something different for a change. I tend to be able to make more of this industrial kind of stuff in Bitwig than I do in uh, Ableton for some reason.
it took me a half hour to figure out that the sound was all jacked up on the stream, so... Go me. Is this loop yours? I love this. If not, where can I grab this? Uh, yeah, it's mine. I mean, it's a combination of a bunch of different stuff, but I did make it up. It's a bunch of ambient noise samples and stuff. Other random things. Um, this is only meant to be a 30 second thing for a contest. I'm gonna enter it in. Sorry if I don't uh, respond to your chats right away. There's a bit of a lag, and then besides that, um, I may not be looking at the screen if the chat window goes on. So I apologize if I don't get to you right away. This is super distorted, but that's kind of the point of it, is to be really distorted, so... There's that.
like it was out without that like droney bass in there. It's hard to uh, you know make decisions and stuff like that. Or some other third thing. I guess, I don't know. I guess I could, uh... Whoa, that's a lot louder. Yeah, I'm not sure, uh... What I think about having the drone in there or not. I mean, I like it. But I don't at the same time. I just feel like it kind of goes on for a little too long. Maybe if I had it mute out, like, could it dip down, like, here? Mute it from. Something like this. <laughs> Does not need cowbell, Pat. Does not need cowbell. Donk on it. Interesting. The fuck was that? Just blast some air horns in here. Bam, bam, bam. That would, uh... Yeah, it has a pretty deep bass tone on it, Pat. It's pretty low, though. Like, my sub barely picks it up, so I might have to move it up. Like, move it up an octave, maybe? Um, maybe if I move this up. This up three semi tones. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm using the heat, Pat. I am using the analog heat, so it's not all lonely. And I'm using stuff in my rack. You just can't see me using it. 
At least I'm working on some music finally after a long time of not working on music. So there's that. That's too just that just that is too high pitched. It's not. No, it just doesn't sound right. What the freak. Yeah, you know, I'm actually going to probably record a video tonight or tomorrow night explaining where I've, where I've been for the last, like, four to six months. The short of it is that I had another kid, so I have a four-month-old son now. Yay. Um, and that's been taking up a lot of my time, and I just am usually not very... Uh, um you say inspired during the summer months to work on music so that's part of it you need more bass swagger pat adjusting the two kids is um took a little bit of work there You got that drum machine, nice. <laughs> There's the new swag mode. <laughs> yeah, the Yamaha is pretty, pretty swag pat. You're still watching me, I don't know. But yeah, I'm gonna try to um, get into my schedule streaming at least once a week and um, recording whenever I'm actually doing anything but not anything for a video and just recording it and maybe making like studio vlogs where I take a bunch of you know times when I was in here recording that I didn't stream it I just recorded what I was doing into like maybe a 10 minute video of just different different things I'm doing so at least that way I get some videos out because sometimes uh, the only time I have to work on music is late at night during the week and working two jobs that kind of kills kills you. And so I'll only maybe work on music for a half hour or something like that. So this way I'll be able to at least upload some videos. I have, uh, I am, I am trying to plan a Let's Make a Track Season 2 though. And this time, I'm going to finish the track, and I'm going to record all the videos before I even start posting them. So, hopefully that happens. Nice. That's cool that it has mini pat. That'll be helpful. Sorry, I'm talking, one of my friends on Facebook is uh, also watching in the stream, so I'm talking to him. Kind of as well. I don't know what else I want to do to this. I'm kind of happy with this now. Well, listen to some of the other entries in the uh, contest. Don't think this will probably win, but I'm going to enter it anyways. just because this is probably way more industrial and less soundtracky than they're looking for this isn't very cinematic I don't think but YOLO or something
I don't like that now. Question is, do I want to do the let's make a track in Ableton again? I want to use Bitwig. Where's my DSP at? Damn! Look at that. I am pegging the DSP on this sucker. Look at that. Because I'm doing video at the same time. That is why I'm hitting the DSP on this. Did you get your soundtrack going, Pat? I doubt you did. Uh, I have both. I know Ableton way better than I know Bitwig, and there's just some things that I'm so used to in Ableton that I find myself very difficult to be inspired or like get past certain roadblocks in Bitwig without having to like figure a bunch of stuff out. So like I lose like the vibe when I'm working on a track. So that's why I would use Ableton when I have Bitwig because I have both of them. That is why. And like, it's just like little things like chopping audio in Bitwig. I don't know, it's different. I'm not sure if I like it or not compared to like Ableton. So, you know, I've used Ableton for 10 years. So, I mean, I'm definitely by far not an expert in it at all. But I know, say, 75, 80% of it really well. And so I just do things really quickly in it. Bitwig I've used off and on for like a year, so. And, and there are some things I really like about it where when you group stuff, you kind of get an, a breakdown of what's there. Where in Ableton, at least nine, you don't. So, you know, I kind of like the grouping in Bitwig a little better. I like how you can bounce and place groups, which is pretty dope. Yeah, the modulators are really awesome. I love the modulators in Bitwig. I don't use them as much as I should. Um, why is this not on? What the hell? But when I do use them, I have a, a lot of fun with them. They come in, they come in handy. So... Oh yeah, that's why I turn around. I just delete this out of there. The modulators are definitely dope. Man, soup's starting to get boring. I'm not, I don't really feel like working on anything else now. And now I'm all done. I don't really feel like working on any type of music now. Uh, should probably just bounce this out and call it done. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to call this done for now. And uh, I'm going to uh, bounce it out and submit it to the Atom contest and see what happens. I 
that don't get anything, but that's all right. It was still fun to make it. I like making this dark industrial stuff. I actually have two tracks that are kind of in the same same vein as this, and uh, if I get two more, I may release an in, like dark industrial type of EP. But this makes you know making the stuff I enjoy making dub techno all that much better when I get back around doing it. I guess because. You learn new things every single time. Anyways, so yeah. I think that's going to be the stream for this Friday. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. If you're still, anyone's still watching who isn't actually subscribed, please do. If you are subscribed, thanks for being a subscriber and holding on. And watch for that explanation video of when I, where I've been for the past four five months. Um, most of it has to do with my new kid. Uh, and it being summertime. But, yeah, anyways, peace out everybody. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all in the next video and or stream. Later. <laughs>